Thai boxing is one of the fiercest martial arts. In Thailand, children begin competing in this national sport at a young age. Known as Muay Thai, it's a big business, where kids earn money from bets placed on the fighters. Medical experts are critical of Thai boxing because of the high health risks. 14-year-old Bat dreams of becoming a professional Thai boxer. He's grown up without his parents in one of the poorest parts of the country. His next fight is in three days, and Bat intends to win it. Inside the ring, Bat's in his element. He's been coming to this gym every weekday for two years now. Bat has competed in more than 50 amateur fights over the past two years and won most of them. His next fight will be in three days. He's confident and knows his skills. I like kicks best. They're fast. But if the opponent isn't good at blocking, an uppercut can be dangerous. This is everyone's weak spot. It'll easily knock them out. Boom Watanaya was once a successful Thai boxer himself. He and his wife set up this gym three years ago with the help of donations. Boom knows that young Thai boxers are often exploited. He wants to be a good coach. He's already a father figure to many of these kids. A lot of kids now, they don't have the parents because their parents go work in the city and then nobody teach them. Uh, their parents uh, leave, leave the kid with the grandpa and grandma. So nobody really teach them and then nobody really uh, take care of them. So they get the young teen or the, the people, they, they get together and then they're drinking because they don't know what to do and then nobody teach them. Bat and Boom live in Thailand's northeastern Isan region. It's the poorest part of the country. Its few landowners are rice farmers, but yields have dropped in recent years. There are a few other job opportunities. More and more people are moving to the cities, leaving behind the elderly and children. Bat doesn't know if his mother's still alive. He hasn't heard from her in years. All he knows about his father is that he works in a Bangkok factory and that he was drunk the last time he visited. Things aren't much different for eight-year-old Nung Ning. She, like Bat, lives with relatives. Because they rarely get a warm meal at home, Boom often takes the kids out to a restaurant. Boom's wife, Frances, is Canadian. She used to be a Thai boxer too. Together, they have a daughter. But they also feel a sense of responsibility for Bat and Nung Ning. Boom and Francis want their gym to give the village kids hope for the future. They rely on donations from abroad. They charge adults, but kids train for free. I think in the West, kids grow up, they're always asked, what do you want to be when you grow up? Do you want to be a doctor? Do you want to be a lawyer? Do you want to be an astronaut? And at school, the teachers are always saying, yeah, good, you can be all of those things. But here, that's not the case. If Bat wants to grow up to be a doctor, it's not going to happen. He doesn't have access to post-secondary education. He doesn't have the money to do it. It's, that's the harsh reality. The next morning, only two days until the fight. Bat lives with his aunt, Dee, as one of five children. She makes sure they're ready for school. For Bat, school is a tedious routine. He has his sights set on his future. In four years' time, I'll graduate from school. Then I can devote all my time to Thai boxing and turn professional. Bat's aunt does all she can, but it's challenging without a permanent job. 
Often the kids she's looking after are left to their own devices. Life is hard. My husband died years ago. I have to take care of five children all by myself. I work in the rice fields, but if there's no work, I have no money to buy food. Luckily, Bat spends a lot of time with Boom and Francis. They've given him a second home. The pupils have to be at school by 8 for the daily flag ceremony. Together, they sing the national anthem. Bat isn't exactly top of his class, but everyone here knows he's a Thai boxer with many wins under his belt. That's earned him respect. Every day after school, Bat and his fellow Thai boxers embark on a four-kilometer run. Stamina is important in this sport. <laughs> Thai boxing is dangerous with high health risks. Medical experts warn children in particular can suffer long-term physical damage. But Francis Watanaya takes a different view. Anything we do in life, there's risk. Driving a car, there's risk. Playing hockey, there's risk. Going dirt biking, there's risk. So I don't think that Muay Thai poses any more risk than any other sport. And when you look at these children and you look at their lives, Muay Thai is by far the safest option for these kids. In his spare time, Bat enjoys fishing. He says it's a way to kill time until the next training session. Sometimes when Bat manages to bring home a catch, it's the only thing they'll be eating for dinner. The food is certainly appreciated, but since Bat took up Thai boxing, he also helps out in another way. Thai boxing is fun, and I even make money doing it. I always give my aunt some of the earnings. That way she can buy food for all of us. There are so many of us at home. When he wins, Bart takes home about 1,500 baht, roughly 40 euros in prize money. That's more than his aunt earns in an entire month. 14-year-old Bart is the household's main breadwinner. I think it's important to give these kids a childhood, to let them have fun. Sports are fun, Muay Thai is a sport, but at the same time give them something very tangible to focus on. And the really great thing about Muay Thai is there's also career opportunities, and not just in Thailand, but, in, but overseas also. Only 24 hours left until the fight. All that's left on Bat's schedule today is a massage though he's really ticklish. You need some lotion. Your skin's dry. Vaseline's better, but it's more expensive. Boom is convinced that Bat has what it takes to become a professional Thai boxer, even though that's not even his main concern. It doesn't matter what, what he, he be, you know. I, I just want him to be a good, good guy. I want him to be a, a good, Person. The evening of the fight has arrived. It's a funfair atmosphere, though rather than exhilarating rides, the attraction tonight is the boxing ring and the children fighting inside. Kids on whom punters have placed big bets. The referee has decided Bat's opponent, and Francis is worried. Bat's opponent is significantly larger. It's not an ideal situation, but Bat does have a lot more experience than him, so we're going to give the fight a try. It starts out badly. Bat takes several blows.
Thai boxers have little protective gear, just boxing gloves, a mouth guard and groin protector. Punches are okay, as are kicks and elbow jabs. Fights go over five rounds. Three minutes into the fight, the boys get their first break. Bat lost his first round on points. In round two, he launches a spectacular comeback. His right hand punch puts him in front, but his opponent is fighting back hard. In the fourth round, Bat manages to dodge his opponent's punches. By now, he's clearly got more stamina. The referee stops the fight early in the final round. Bat's opponent is exhausted. For Boom, Bat's victory is almost business as usual, and the young fighter himself doesn't seem all that excited either. He was bigger than me, but I won. I'm satisfied. A somewhat subdued reaction, but the fireworks certainly stoke some excitement. Francis praises Bat's performance. When you're losing, you have to have the heart and the mental game good to be able to turn around the fight like he did. And I think that Bat having that skill, the heart, the determination, the grit, I think that'll really help him in the future as a fighter. All ends well this time. Each fight carries new risks, but Bat only sees the promise that professional tie boxing holds, the promise of leaving behind a life of poverty.